Welcome back. Today I'm going to give the lay of the rest and I'm going to make a Kentucky stick chair. A dear friend of my wife's nephew, Tim, he passed away and he used to make these. Here's some pictures of some custom ones that he used to do. And the set they have needed some repairs, so I figured while I was repairing theirs, I would make one and show you how to do it. Let's go ahead and get started. The Wood Shop is sponsored by Chef Work Kits, Easy Wood Tools, and viewers like you. Okay, here's the chair. I'll give you the measurements as I go along through the video, but I'll also put them down below in the description in case you want to check that out. So it's just a great design. It folds up during the winter for storage. It's nice. They're really comfortable to sit in. He did it. Did a great job on it. What I the reason I have it is I need to fix this little spot, little stop block here. The one over there fell off, so I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna figure why I had it. I'll I'll make one. But, I just ran to the home store, picked up everything. It was $45, but I'm gonna have some scraps left over in case I wanna make, make two of them. So it was, yeah, right at 45 bucks minus the $1.28 for the payday bar. So I'm gonna have my cut list here, and I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting everything up on the table saw. parts cut these are the front legs they're 40 inches long two of those I have 11 6 inch pieces this is for the transition on the seat I have eight 12 inch pieces this is for the main main seat and eight for the back and these are these are 12 inches and these are 27 and a half and these are the rear legs I ripped them down on the table saw and they're one inch thick just like everything else these are all they're all one inch thick and these are an inch and a half so what I'm going to do now is because the lumber was was rounded over on one side and when I it on the on the table saw it cut a sharp edge on it. I'm going to take a quarter inch round over bit on my router and round over all the rest of the rest of the sides and clean it all up and then I'll set up uh, some stop blocks on my drill press and drill all the holes. So I set up a stop block here. Most of the holes are three quarters of an inch in from the end. So I'll go ahead and take care of all those first and then drill the oddball ones. On the 12 inch pieces, they come in three quarter on one end and then on the other end, they come in two and a eighth. So I have that set up with the stop blocks. I'm gonna drill all of those. And then for the two 40 inch pieces, all I did was take the 27 and a half, line it up, and come in here and stuck it all down through there, marked it, and then drilled out for those. And there's just two of them, so I didn't set a stop block up or anything. Okay, I just drilled my last two holes, and they're gonna be in the back legs here. So all I did was just stick an all down in there. And this is the 12, 12 inch pieces, and I just, just marked it like that and then, then drill the hole out. So these are the back legs and I was looking at some of his other designs and where he left these a little bit thicker. I put the knot down here so I could get rid of it when cutting when I cut them out. So I came in about two inches just to beef it up a little bit. The one I have it looks like it's about about maybe an inch or so but you can kind of do whatever you want in here because it doesn't affect how the chair sits or folds up or anything so just kind of you could leave it like that and it would still still work but I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of give it a little little wave shape or something and and then I'll duplicate it and put it on the oscillating sander and clean it up and then I'll have to run it through the roundover bit uh, real quick but so I'm gonna go ahead and trace something out I don't know what yet though
that's just double sided tape. Okay, I'm going to run a sander over it real quick, get rid of the, the ink line, and then there, I have a little bit of a ridge when I sliced it in half. This one's good, but this one has a little little ridge there. So I'm going to clean that up and then run it through the uh, router again and, and clean up the, the edge with the roundover bit on it. Okay, I'm going to start assembling it. I turned them so the nice faces were out. I'm just going to feed the rod through there. Okay, I'm gonna cut the audio out here because it's just screeching, but this is the fastest and easiest way to get these things in. So, just hook the thread to your drill and run it through. Doesn't get any easier than that. Okay, all I have left to do here is the little stop blocks, and they go just right in there. There, He has them 10 inches from the back here, so I'm just going to go ahead and this was a scrap. I'm going to cut it in half and put one on each side here. I'm going to use Armor Seal by General Finishes for the finish. It's an oil and urethane top coat. So I probably should have done this before, but I wanted to make sure it all went together well and I didn't want to pull it back apart. But yeah, definitely next one, go ahead and finish it first. There we go. I'll put the cut list in the description too. It's a pretty simple project. It can be easily be done in a day. I had to split it up because I had other things going on, but um, easy, easily done in a day. This one's a little bit short for me, so I'm gonna make one for myself that's about six or eight inches taller. And I think you could even customize the width on it a little bit. Maybe put in a, a third rear leg here and just you'd need to make a couple more of these. But I think think you could adjust them like that. I really like the way Tim did the alternating colors on it, on the ones he did. There's uh, just really two things to keep in mind with, with it and that is make sure that the holes are drilled all the same. So set up a stop block and a fence with your drill press. That will save you a big headache and the other one is don't try and feed these the threaded rod through by hand. Just hook it up to the drill and they feed right through. I got this one in okay, went through went through easy because they weren't spread apart. But as soon as you spread them apart, it's a giant pain. So hook the drill up and it was slick. But it was a fun project and uh, I want to dedicate the video to uh, Tim Doolin. Hey, if this is your first time here, I have a new project video every Friday. I hope to see you there. All right, take care.